Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Norm and I am a leather craft hobbyist. I don't do this for a living, but I love making things from leather. I also make watches as well. Um, but today I want to, um, I want to review something that I haven't really seen much online. Um, I work with great leather. I work with Italian leather, you know, Horween, um, and some, and, and not so, uh, not so, um, expensive stuff as well. I buy from, you know, Tandy leather and such, but Today I want to focus on one thing that uh, I haven't seen a lot of, and that's vegan leather. Uh, not the the vinyl stuff that you buy uh, that's readily available, but the actual stuff that's made from plants. It's all plant-based leathers. Um, I got three different versions here. I've got, so for example, this one right here is a, um, a pineapple leather, uh, a little bit different. Um, I have this one over here, which is made from cactus. And the third one, which is made from grapes, uh, grape skins and, uh, and I guess seeds. Um, and today I want to see, you know, what the difference between this and how it really compares to real leather. Um, so let's start off with this guy right here, which is the, um, the cactus. Oh, sorry, the pineapple, my bad. This is the pineapple. So the first thing I noticed with this is that it's extremely fibrous in the back, um, almost like a felt-like material really interesting you know a lot of these fibers coming off of it a um, little bit different it's got that that felt feel to it um, you can see some of the uh, some of the uh, the pineapple remnants on there you know uh, I guess they, it's just a uh, pineapple pulp um, let me see here um, so you know you see the remnants of the the back here you see the remnants of the uh, the pineapple pulp and the fibers and such. Um, the front's really interesting. So to me, this is one of the things, you know, that stand out to me while working with leather is that because it's a felt like material, um, the top coating where they emboss it with a leather grain, you can see there's a lot of creasing that goes on here. And I think that's naturally because of the pineapple fibers and the way that it lays down. Um, I mean, I guess we'll see how this works out um, after you wear down a little bit. But even when you feel it, it's very, very stiff. Like you can see where it crinkles. Um, it just doesn't feel very leather-like. Uh, again, see, look at this. Um, it, it, the, the, it's more like it breaks into angles. Um, it's not very supple. Um, let's see how it is to cut. Let's see there. So here you can see, I'm not sure you can see that, there we go. These are the fibers on the inside. And I mean, it cuts okay. The, the top feels kind of plasticky and rubbery, um, but I guess that's that's the nature of the, the beast, I guess is the, way, the only way they're gonna be able to get the, uh, the leather grain in there. Um, let's spray some alcohol on there and see how it reacts to alcohol. See if it breaks down. I'm not going to use the acetone test. Um, so, interesting. Put alcohol on it, and the the fibers break. The, 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 the I guess the, the plastic on top kind of breaks down. So my guess is that this is a more of a plastic coating than anything else. Interesting. Uh, I'll cut it with an exacto knife. Let's see how that cuts. Cuts quite well, nice clean edges, you know, that part's not so bad. Um, you know, honestly, I'll, 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 I'll make a wallet out of this and I'll, I'll, I'll use it for a little bit and see how well it holds up. Um, I'm not going to put a backing on it when I work with this. I'm going to leave it raw like this. Uh, we'll see how it, how it is when, uh, when it accepts paint. Um, I guess we'll just try it right now. Let's see here. Let's see how well it lays paint down on the edges. Um, with this stuff, you won't be able to burnish it, um, like the, the traditional way because it's too fibrous. Um, it's not leather. It is more like plant fibers. Let's see what this would look like with some paint on it. And all in all, I think, you know, it's a great alternative. I mean, I do work with regular leather, but I think it'd be a great alternative for 
people who would like to have a leather type wallet um, without actually using uh, leather. So we'll let that dry and we'll come back to it in a few minutes. Let's see how that, that, uh, how that plays out. Okay, the next one I wanna try out, I'm gonna bring it up right now, is let's take a look at the cactus. The cactus is a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit thinner. It is a nice, smoother finish. Uh, the backing, though, is definitely a, a material of some sort. It does not look like um, it's full cactus, but it's actually not that thick. Let's take a look here. Oh, a little bit harder to cut, actually. So if you take a look at this, the plastic coating itself is extremely thin. Um, and... Actually, not the plastic coating, excuse me. The the backing is extremely thin. Uh, majority of this is actually the cactus. A lot different. Um, really, really nice, actually. Uh, very, very supple. It it, it, it it folds just like leather. It curves. There's no rough edges, just like uh, on the other one, where it kind of breaks apart. Nice and supple. Um, a nice felt backing on this. Yes, again, it is definitely a material of some sort, but extremely thin. Most of it, if you take a look, if we can get that in focus, it's mostly, um, you know, I'll use my all, it's mostly cactus with a very, very thin backing material on it. Let's see how this one holds up to the alcohol test. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same. Oh, wait, 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 look at that. Wow, amazing, nothing, looks perfect, huh? I'm actually really surprised. I thought it would be like a plastic coating, but I guess it's not. There is some sort of coating on this. Um, hmm, interesting, works really well. Let's see how it cuts with an X-Acto knife. That's really, really nice. And if you can take a look, I'm not sure we can tell by the, the shine here, the, it's extremely, extremely thick. It's really, really nice. Ours is my favorite so far. Really, really nice stuff. Okay, the last one is, interestingly enough, um, oh wait, I forgot to do something. Let's try the paint test. Let's see how well this holds paint. And we'll come back to both of them once they both dry. Let me see here. I mean, it lays down very nicely. Um, fair to how, how leather is. Again, you won't be able to burnish this stuff. So really, if you're going to be working with this, you're going to have to uh, use paint, um, an edge paint of some sort. Um, I use uh, two different paints. I use a vernis paint that I got from Rocky Mountain and also the uh, the Feebings, uh, actually no, the EcoFlow uh, Edge Flex uh, that's from Tandy Leather. So that's what this black stuff is right now. So I'm gonna let that one, uh, let that one dry as well. Let's see how this one is doing so far. It's doing okay. I do notice that the uh, while it's drying the Pineapple is kind of odd. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of it's kind of different. Okay, let's let's clean this off. So the last one, which is by far the best feeling one, um, is a smaller piece I have. Yes, um, this is actually made from grapes. Uh, grape, um, I guess you know grape seeds and and uh, and the outside, um, the the peel. And it's super, super soft. I mean, like, it feels almost like a lamb skin. It's so nice. I'm, I'm not sure what I can make with this yet. Uh, let's see, see how this cuts. Let's go on this side. Ooh, this one's a little tougher to cut. Interesting. Let's take a look at this. That this looks to me uh, the complete opposite of the cactus. 
So, it looks like majority of this uh, backing is fabric and a very, very, very thin layer is the, uh, the grape skin and uh, the grape seeds. Really interesting. Um, that might explain why it feels so supple, but I mean, even with the backing, I mean, it just flows so nicely. Uh, let's see how this thing cuts. Cuts very nice. Extremely, extremely thin. Um, let's see how this one lays paint down. And again, this one no different than the other two. Uh, you would not be able to burnish this. Uh, virtually impossible to burnish the uh, the fabric um, itself. There we go. I'll put a little bit more down on there, and then we'll let this dry, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll see how it is. Okay, let's put this over here. Let this dry for a bit. Oh, I don't know, one thing I noticed here. Take a look at this. When I put the edge paint on, it actually bleeds right into the fabric. Unlike the other two that didn't, this one actually does. Huh, interesting. It's definitely more fabric than um, than grape uh, grape uh, skin. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Okay, let's see um, how this one uh, takes uh, alcohol. Okay, you know one of them was no good. The cactus was great. Now let's take a look at the grape. Wow actually really really good you see well actually no i was wrong <laughs> okay so alcohol gums it up i guess it's breaking down the 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 the, the plastic coating um so not very durable for that uh, very interesting though um you can might be able to see there's that little spot right there where the uh, where i rubbed it's um it's kind of worn it's kind of sticky and tacky um, overall it's not bad um, I would not be able to, you know, you wouldn't be able to use any sort of alcohol cleaner on this, but, um, but definitely <laughs> the cactus, definitely you can. So uh, I did take the liberty to cut some of these out so I can make some wallets uh, and I'll probably make a video of those ones when I uh, actually get to it, but let's take a look at this. So the interesting thing about some of these uh, I did not cut one's uh, a wallet out from the from the uh, the grape skin because it's just way too thin. Uh, I'll figure out what to make with one of those. But so this is the um, this is the cactus. So what I noticed with the cactus when I cut it out, it the curve if you can see it stays curved uh, because it was rolled up. It doesn't flatten out very well. You know I've tried flattening it out. Uh, I might have to put a backing on just to keep it flat. Um, don't know yet, but we'll, we'll see. So this is a, a simple card holder uh, that I make, um, and uh, we'll see how this one lays down. Now, the, I do have high hopes for the pineapple, even though it's not my favorite. It is nice and thick, okay? It does have a unique, like, these crinkles on it, but that's fine. But it lays flat, and it's, like, it's, it's like perfect. You know, I'll lay some, uh, some edge coat paint on this, you know, sand it down make it look nice um sew it up i'll probably use some contrasting thread colors uh maybe red on something like this or maybe some blues i don't know we'll, we'll see how it looks and uh you know we'll see how these wallets turn out but i have a bad feeling about this one i think this one will be a more difficult one to make unless i actually glue down some sort of backing to this i'm, I'm not gonna i don't want to use leather uh thin leather backing on this uh, because i want to keep this um, as vegan as possible uh, for customers who, you know, who may want a vegan option, um, I mean, we'll see. You know, I did sort of fold it the other way, but it sort of bounces back. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works out. So um, I just want to show you this. So the grape skin or the grape derived uh, vegan leather, interesting, the paint dried almost instantly, but I don't think it's because it tried. I think it's got soaked in from the from the backing right there. Um, the opposite's happening for the uh, for the pineapple. If you can see, it's still wet. You know, it's it's still it's been a few minutes and it's still kind of shiny in certain spots. Um, and let's take a look at the 
Oh, the cactus is really turning out nice. It's a little bit wet, but it's a lot smoother. And I think the issue that we're going to have with the uh, with the pineapple is that because of the the, the fibers, it's going to take a lot a, a lot more in terms of uh, coats of of edge coat paint uh, to smooth it out, and it'll be quite a bit of uh, of sanding. But if you take a look at this, it's like it's super smooth. Very, very little finishing. I mean, I'm sure a light sand, another coat, light sand, and it should be actually pretty good. Uh, okay, let's wait a few more minutes and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, guys, um, it looks like they're all dried up. Let's take a review and let's see how they look. It's really nice. Um, yeah, this one, it's, it's, it, is, it, has, it, it is quite smooth. Uh, the bleeding, if it doesn't bother you, is um, the only thing I would find um, some people may not like. I know for myself, I usually paint the inside edges anyways. Um, but, you know, I guess it looks okay. You know, a few coats on, you know, the thicken it up a bit, it'll look pretty good. Um, let's look at the coconut. I mean, coconut. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the cactus. I don't know what I was thinking when I said coconut. So this one didn't bleed through. It's beautiful. Right there. Um, super smooth. So far the best. And then we've got this one, which is, again, not my favorite. I mean, I think from the, the thickness, I like it. But so far everything, like, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it's like, it's really rough. One coat, the fibers are just horrendous. Oh, there is one thing I forgot to test out. Let me grab something here. Let's see how well it bevels edges. That's one thing I forgot to test. Let's try the uh, the pineapple first. It's not going to happen with the pineapple one, guys. It's no way. This is a sharp blade. This has uh, been sharpened. I use it for leather all the time uh, for the project, and this one is just not taking the edge. Um, let's try the cactus now. Same thing. Yep, that's not good, guys. So one thing we're going to find when you're working with this stuff you won't be able to use this. Yeah, let's try that. I mean, this one I doubt will work. It's too thin. It's too soft. No, 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 it's not going to work guys. So you won't be able to use this tool for, uh, for, for the vegan leather stuff. So you are limited. You might have to change your style a little bit on, on how you, uh, how you do things. Let's try the creaser. Give me a sec here. Let me grab my, oops. Oh, ignore that sound. Okay, let's just let's just um, let's heat this thing up and see how well it heats up. Now, because it is plastic, I do not have high hopes for it. Just so you guys know. Now, I apologize that this review is going all sorts of different directions. Um, it wasn't planned. I bought this stuff. Uh, I want to try it out, but I also want to uh, you know provide a review for people who are interested that can't find any because I couldn't find any myself. Um, let me see here. Okay. The grape is not accepting the creaser. Let's try the cactus now. Let's do it in this corner right here. Nice short corner. Uh, not accepting it either just bounces I mean it, it sort of works but not really that's sad let's look at my favorite one no, let's do this edge no let's do this edge no oh, as I thought guys nope definitely not the same so you're not gonna get those nice edge creases in there or whatever it's called like I said I'm this is just a hobby for me guys so I apologize if I get some of the terminology wrong. Um, I just love working with this kind of stuff. So yeah, totally, it's it's similar. Working with it's going to be a little different. Um, you can't bevel the edges. Um, you can't use a creaser on it. Um, but again, you know, you have to take the good with the bad, right? I mean, it is a different uh, um, construction medium. So I'll give you my rundown on what my thoughts are. So out of the three... The pineapple uh, is the not the best looking one. Okay, now there's a version one that's even worse than this that doesn't have this coating. I didn't bother buying that because it didn't look like leather. It looked almost like like that felt stuff that you use for insulation. It just this didn't look right to me. Um, this one at least had the texture. 
Um, but the promising part for this, this will be very robust. It's very thick. Um, you know, I tried ripping it earlier and I couldn't do it. Uh, it's just too fibrous. Um, this one, I would say, you know, like if you had to make something um, and you didn't mind that, then I would say it'd be okay. But I, I would just say it's going to be a lot more work trying to create something. Uh, and, and part of the reasons is this. Now, you could use, you know, uh, Max Matte on it uh, from uh, Giardini. Um, and that would probably help speed things up a little bit. But that just adds an extra layer to it. You can't just, you know, add, put the paint on, sand it down, add the paint on, sand it down. Um, you might have to use the, 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 the Max Matte. Um, but other than that, I would say, you know, out of 10... <sighs> I'd probably give it a good, honestly, five, six. Um, and it wouldn't be my ideal material to work with. Um, the cactus. Now, I love this stuff. Okay. This I would give a solid, even with the shortcomings, uh, it's just a feel of the material. Um, and the, the it does, yes, curve. And if we can figure that part out, I would still, I'd give this one probably a seven, eight out of 10. Um, it's great to work with. It's a, it lays down paint very smoothly on the edges. Um, it is easy to cut, it's easy to work with, and it just feels great, you know, and there's no bleed through. So so I would say that would be great. And the last one would be the, the grape based one. This one's a hard one because this one you would have to add a backing on, right? Um, and you'd have to find some sort of vegan based backing and I'll have to see, I have to dig through and see what I have um, to give it a little bit of stiffness. Um, the also, the other aspect is because this is mostly material fabric based, not really, leather based per se um i would say i would probably give this one again even though i love the way it feels and it's so supple i would have to give it like a six or seven out of ten i couldn't give it anything higher because there'd be very very unique use cases and what you could actually use this for um i mean if you were making a, a big purse okay yes um, you're gonna use backing anyways i would say it'd be great to make wallets or small small leather goods it might not be very good for that kind of stuff um so yeah, that's my review of of um, of the three different types of leathers. Um, I will be making them. Um, like I said uh, earlier, I have um, already pre-cut a couple of wallets out uh, that I will be playing around with as soon as I finish this next batch. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, this is only my second video uh, and only my first leather video. I have another video that I'm editing right now that um, goes through a process of making one of these wallets. Um, I'm in the process right now of making, ooh, I think 16 of them. Um, but there's a start to finish of how I go about making uh, what I do. Um, again, this is Norm. Um, I, my channel is Monkey King Leathers and Watches. Um, it is a hobbyist channel, and I'm thank you very much for stopping by, guys. Uh, please leave your, uh, you know, your likes um, and any comments that you might have. If you have any questions for me down below, be more than happy to uh, to answer them. If anybody's interested in my products, just reach out to me and I'd love to help you guys out. Thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, um, so I just wanted to mention this uh, video is not sponsored by anybody. I went and bought this stuff myself, but I'm going to tell you where I, what, what they are. So the pineapple one is called Pinatex. And let me see what the other one is. Uh, the cactus version is called Deserto. And the grape leather is called Veggia. Um, I bought all of this stuff from a place called alternativeleathers.com. Uh, pretty quick shipping. Ordered it. Came within a couple of days. Um, and I'll put some. I'll put the uh, the links in the description below.